In this class, we are going to learn how to make use of Visual Builder which comes inbuilt in your Fusion instance under configurations with the help of which you can build the Fusion extensions that is customized applications. So in the application whichever you develop with the help of Visual Builder will be hosted within the Fusion instance. You don't have to have any other Visual Builder standalone instance to host the applications. Also, you will be able to modify or edit the pages which are developed as part of Visual Builder or Redwood in Fusion. You don't have to go with the page composer so and so forth things. All the pages which are developed with the Redwood theme will be able to modify with the help of Visual Builders. These concepts we are going to learn in our subsequent classes. In this class, we will see how we can make use of this Visual Builder under configuration and we can navigate to the Visual Builder Studio which comes hosted within this Fusion instance. First and the foremost thing, if you are not able to see this visual builder icon or the tile under the configurations in the springboard or in the navigation menu, you have to look for the documentation by Oracle. I am here in the official documentation page by Oracle that is on cloud applications for fusion services setting up visual builder studio. First and the foremost thing is you need to have certain privilege in order to view the visual builder icon. So this is the privilege name, you can add this privilege to one of the roles which are available for you in Fusion. So once you add this role, you can just sign out and again sign into your Fusion instance, you will be able to see the Visual Builder icon. There are few more roles which are having this privilege added already like Application Administrator, Application Developer and there is one Customer Relationship Management, Application Administrator and the Service Administrator. Suppose if you have one of those roles, then you will be able to see the Visual Builder tile on the Configuration tab. So these are the seeded roles which are available in the Fusion. Suppose if you are having a custom role, then you can go to the IDCS or IAM, whichever is managing your Fusion instance, then you can manually add the users to that particular role or the group in IDCS. And also you have to make a note that you can create only one Visual Builder instance in your test Fusion instance. But there are options how you can migrate your code from one Fusion instance to other. We will show this in our subsequent classes. Now let me just launch this visual builder by clicking on this tile. Suppose if you have clicked on the visual builder tile for the very first time, you won't see any of the projects. As I am making use of the shared instance, I am seeing lot of projects. So I will be creating one project which will be used by me in all the classes. So I will name this as test 1001. Click on next. I want empty project. Wiki markup. I am keeping as default if you want any other person to be added as a member you can add over here and give the rights like project owner developer full access so and so forth things i'm keeping it default and click move on finish so this will take couple of seconds or minutes in order to fully provision our project so it will create a project agile board it will create a build jobs for us it will create an environment it will create a wiki and so and so forth things which are needed in order to work with the project I hope you already have a basic knowledge about the Visual Builder Studio, how it works and how the Visual Builder Cloud Service works, that is the VBCS. Suppose if you know basics of Visual Builder Studio and the Visual Builder Cloud Service, then you can work with the app UI like a champ. So our project got provisioned very quickly over here. So like we do with any other Visual Builder development work, we have to create a workspace for the first time. So you can clone from git in our case our git will be empty as we don't have any repo created in our Git, so it will be empty you don't have a git repository so that's fine our project is a new over here we can import with the help of file suppose if you have a app ui which you have exported from a vb cookbook or somewhere or some other projects from one project to another project also if you want to move your project you can move that is by clicking on this import and selecting the zip file this will show in our subsequent classes now let me just click on new I click on the new application extension. Suppose if you want to build a visual builder application that is standalone, then you need to have a dedicated standalone visual builder instance that is to post your application. Suppose if you are building a fusion extension then or the app UI, you can click on new application extension. As we have launched this visual builder studio from this tile, we have to go for new application extension, which means the app UI. Click on this. It will ask basically few questions over here. I will tell here, I am going to create over here a demo 1001 underscore 01 application. 
so development environment it will ask us to create this is for the first time we are creating so we need to first of all define the environment let me just go to the environment tab over here click on create the environment here i will name this as dev environment click on create click on add instance here you have to go for this oracle cloud applications if you want to check the details you can click on this and you can have a look at this so whatever application you have linked with this identity domain it will be visible over here suppose if you want to manually provide the application credentials you can give the base url of your instance of your fusion instance instance name it will auto populate or else you can provide like a dev or so and so forth thing username and password you can give now in my case it is available over here with the help of identity domain let me just click on this and click on add so this will take couple of seconds in order to add my instance now if i just expand so this is showing my fusion instance url which is correct suppose if you manually want to add the uh, details for your fusion instance then what you can do is click on this create environment here you can tell dev11 click on create here click on add instance go for cloud applications go for application credentials here you provide the url as I told instance name will be auto populated here you can provide your username and password when you click on add it will add the environment something like this so I will delete this instance which is not required in our case now once we have created the environment let me just go back to my workspace let me create a new app UI extension over here and I will name this as test 1001 underscore 01 so I will make use of this environment you have to select the environment if you are having multiple so better always to select the development environment i don't want to extend any other fusion applications over here suppose if you want to extend any career development or supplier any other applications which are developed with the help of redwood by oracle product team then you can extend i am creating from scratch that is the new application i will go for none if you have created any sandbox in fusion instance that you can select over here all the sandboxes will be visible so whenever you publish the sandbox it will be publishing your code as well now i will go for the create new repository over here i will name this as 1001 underscore 01 and the branch i want to work is i will tell as main branch click on create oh i think it is not taking the main branch let me name this as branch 01 then click on create so this will take a couple of seconds in order to launch your workspace So our workspace got launched successfully. So in the launch page, we are seeing a menu over here on the left hand side to create a new app UI. Also, it will show the dependencies that is the Redwood pages and the applications which are being developed as part of this visual builder. In visual builder application development, what and all options you are seeing, it will be visible over here as well. Like you can create an app UI that it was web app. Here you can define the layouts if you are going for the dynamic containers, forms or the table and also you can consume the service connections and the backends if there is a catch over here we will discuss what is the catch when consuming any service connections or defining any backends at the moment but in future that might be removed by oracle suppose if there are any dependencies it will be shown over here the components the translations and the source code at the end there is a git it will show the changes you have done here basically all the options are available if you just click on this you will get all the options which are available in visual builder studio you can do undo the changes you have done also you can publish your application right from here so this is the basic how the workspace launches your app ui framework that is for the development in our next class we will create our very first app ui and also we will see how to publish the app ui to fusion instance